Hello everyone, we're reporting to you live from the top of Man Zhao. It's negative, like I don't know how much, I'm not sure how much longer it will last up here, but this is the dedication that goes into making our YouTube videos. Right around us is actually the famous snow monsters of Zhao. In five minutes, I too will become a snow monster as I'm covered in the snow. So every single time we make an episode, we're always wondering, like, you know, what the topic is, but also how important. Okay, it is. sorry about that. We filmed this impromptu on a mountain with our mic and it got a bit windy. Let me jump in with a bit of VO. For many of our viewers out there, it might seem like this is a channel all about film photography, but we've always wanted to do a bit more than that. YouTube, as we all know, rewards certain types of videos. They reward gear videos because people like to look at reviews before they buy things. Or even if they don't end up buying the camera, there's just something appealing about a commercial good. But in a way, it's kind of irresponsible to keep urging viewers to follow this path. One of the reasons we were interested in featuring most digital cameras in this show is because of how similar they all are, and how little difference each generation has nowadays between models. That's not to say that we'll never cover a digital camera, it's just that the ones we're interested in are far and few between. So, one of the reasons that I don't do videos talking about like the Canon A1 versus the Nikon F3 is because it doesn't really matter. Again, as I've said many times, they're just boxes with lenses on top. And then even then, I don't need to do a comparison of you know three of the best 55mm lenses because if you really want a resolution, I wouldn't even recommend shooting film. As reviewers, I guess, or content creators, we would in some ways happily review film or do topics about new films, um, but then about cameras, we actually also want to advocate uh, being a smart consumer. So then we can only tell you so much. Um, you have to eventually listen for yourself or think for yourself. And then one topic that I guess we didn't really raise for the Context T2 video is that I'm not really sure anyone should even buy that camera right now. It's, it's, it's just so expensive and so ridiculously overpriced that it's the benefits don't outweigh the cost and then you can tell yourself that you need that Carl Zeiss 35 mm lens or something like that but in reality it's not worth it and you don't need that camera there's lots of good compacts that do the same thing maybe a little bit less good but you don't really need the best and uh, yeah I mean if you buy it you're not being a smart consumer on the other hand the good thing about talking about film cameras is that at least nobody is buying new I hope there's a lot of good used equipment out there, and by buying film cameras, we're making sure the second-hand market is healthy and that people maybe aren't spending their money on other junk. But I guess to reiterate, making content about stuff or material goods is a dangerous path, and it's something that has always bothered me about YouTube and content creation. Every aspect of communication is linked to consumerism. A lot of people spend so much time thinking about what to buy or how to afford buying gear that they forget to save, to travel, and have fun.